back to your styling and how mm-hmm. did you how did you decide you know what oh, i got this fashion sense i'm really good at this shit how do i flip it on motherfuckers <laughs> yeah. uh, my friends were always like bruh what is going on you're wearing a jacket in the heat like it's <laughs> summer bro why are you wearing a jacket oh man you no know, yeah. these guys were always like bruh where does this where do these pants fit with this i'm like bro you <laughs> niggas don't understand shit you niggas don't know these <laughs> threads. These are threads. Yeah. So I was always like, duh. My friends would always like, at times they would criticize. Of course. And then they, at times they would be like, duh, bro, that drip is hard. Like, hey, they can't even <laughs> deny it because a lot of people are also like, duh, fire, where did you get what was? You know? <laughs> so they can't deny, don't fight the feeling. So after after all of that, I was also, I was also just like, okay. If I can, do, I can actually make money out of this. Yeah. So I started working, like when I really opened up, like because I have a creative studio. Okay. Where, uh, is, it? Where is it at? Uh, Jack Sky Creative Studio. It's okay. Nice. It's like a virtual thing. Nice. Yeah. So I I work virtually in mm. terms of I get hired for jobs. You see, mm-hmm. you have a photo, you have a photo shoot, you have nothing to wear, you have no location, no photographer. All you do is uh, ring me up. Oh, so you step in and, and yeah, I'll, I'll 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 handle everything for so you. Bridge you it, so you bridge that gap between yeah, I'm that guy. Okay, that's what's so up. So I'll come up with concepts for your shoots, mm-hmm. and yeah, the rest. So I started off with Beast, yeah. Beast, Beast. Uh, the way we started off because I used to spend a lot of time in his uh, in his flat. Mm-hmm. So I'd always like for me, I'm I'm an honest guy, bro. I'm a, I'm a very young guy, but I chill with a lot of grown up guys. Yeah, and. I just kick it like a, uh, a grown nigga. Yeah. So I've, I've always criticized niggas in the sense of I'll be like, beast, no, bro. Like, don't say this, don't say that. Don't wear this, don't wear that. So the criticism was always from an honest point. So yeah. I took that and I was always just like, okay, I can style this guy. And yeah. the way beast was with me is like, he really, I love people that accept the fact that they really want to be helped. Have you, have ah, you met nice. someone that really accepts the fact that no, I can be helped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Beast was, <coughs> he really took me in and he was like, bro, I have the funds, but I do, the ideas I'm lacking a bit. Please help me add value to the product. So nice. I was like, Beast, my nigga, I'm going to style you. Every video of yours, I'm going to come up with a concept. Mm-hmm. We're going to shoot. And Beast is the guy that puts in the work. I'll stay.